What's up everyone? For this next video, we're going to focus on the sound for Metroid HD if you're interested in replacing the sound. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Mason emulator or Metroid HD, just check out my previous video that does a really quick overview of the setup. And if you're interested in changing the sound, feel free to continue on this video here. So to start, what we're going to want to do is find out where Mason defaulted to install. On, on the previous video and on my computer it's under my C drive, users, my username, documents, and Mason. Now on your computer computer it'll be likely uh, something different but just look into a similar location to find out where everything installed. And since the, the previous video I also changed my icon to where Mason starts from my download folder here to in documents just to keep everything in one spot. So let's open up the HD pack folder, Metroid HD, and inside are a number of files, including OGG files. These are the sound files that replace the sound in the game. Uh, these PNG files replace the graphics. And so um, these are the files we're going to want to edit in the next steps. But before we do anything, I want to check to see how things sound out now. Uh, and then after that, we'll swap out a file and see how they found, sound uh, after the fact. So to start, let's open up Mason. Hit open. Go to Metroid HD. And by the way, if you'd like to enjoy a full screen setup, all you have to do is hit F11. That'll change it to full screen. But just to make it easier for me to work, I'm going to go back down to the windowed screen. And we're going to just start the game here. And we're going to listen and replace it. Okay, we're going to listen to the, the Brinstar music here before we replace it. So just take a listen here. It's kind of like an orchestral, a little bit more than 16-bit, but not quite a full-blown orchestra. And that's, that's what we're going to replace on this tutorial. And to replace it, uh, what you have to do is go to where you downloaded the HD pack. And inside, you, you might remember seeing a folder called Alternate Art and Music. That's what we're going to open up. And we have graphics, music, and sound effects. We're going to focus in on music here. And there's an, a whole bunch of different options here. You can peruse the, these as, at your leisure. But uh, I'm going to try to see how the analog synth music sounds. It's uh, quite a bit different than, than the uh, normal music, but um, uh, it, I guess if you're looking for something different, it's, it's, I, I think it's pretty cool. So in any case, uh, you uh, just move into the HD pack folder uh, under Documents, Metroid HD. And again, this is where everything is currently included in the pack. And at this point, I might recommend backing up. So if you right-click and say Copy, you can put it on your desktop or wherever. But uh, if you back up, that'll help you just revert back to default in case you don't like it or um, something goes wrong. But um, again, let's just open up the pack here. And to replace the music, literally all you have to do, it's, it's quite simple. You right click, you hit copy, and paste. Replace the file in the destination. OK, and let's see how it sounds. Open up Mason. And you can just click on this window to start the game if you'd like. Okay. Okay, everything seems to be operating correctly. So we just replaced the, the graphics us using some of the included music. If you'd like to uh, insert your own music, you can do that. And that's what this next portion of the tutorial is going to focus on. So uh, I'm just going to go to where I have my music. Okay, and I had it in download. So I, I just happen to have an MP3 of um, the, a highway theme that I like. And uh, I guess some people might say it's, it doesn't fit with Metroid. But you know what? I think it's cool, so I'm, I'm going to do it anyway. And uh, what you have to be mindful of is make sure it's in a .ogg format. And um, currently, it's actually an MP3 format. So uh, to, to change it, I recommend using a program called Audacity. And 
that's because it's it's number one free and also two it's easy to use so you can use your own program if you're familiar with it but this tutorial is going to focus on audacity so to get it in case you don't have it already uh, click on the link for the audacity website i'll have that in the description and if you need to, uh, go to Downloads and find the version that matches up with your computer. Mine is Windows, so that I'm in the right spot. And click on this link here. Now, I've already installed it, so I'm not going to actually do that. But uh, if you just click on it and go through the download prompts, it, it, or the install prompts, it's actually quite simple to get it up and running, and that should be relatively simple for you to figure out. <clears throat> but once it's installed, uh, just open up Audacity here. Okay, there's a little hello prompt. Hit OK. And let's open up that song that I want to put in Metroid. So there it is. There's my MP3. And I can just tell from personal experience, I can tell this is very, very loud. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually select everything. So uh, I'm going to make sure that the this the selection tool is highlighted and i'm going to hover over this right portion until it turns yellow left click hold it down and drag it over and then release and i'm going to go to effect amplify and turn it down quite a bit let's let's try about a little over five decibels Okay, I think that sounds a little more normal. That might not sound too crazy uh, when you hear it over your speakers. But to, to see how it sounds, what you can do is just click somewhere, left click, again using this selection tool. And if you hit the space bar, it'll start playing. Okay, so that's the song. And before we export it to a .ogg format, you want to make sure that it repeats uh, properly because when you're playing the game it'll repeat the song over and over and, and generally you want it to be as seamless as possible so to start that what you need to do is find a point on the song that looks like a good repeating point now this is not an exact science but it's a bit of an art form but if you follow this process for for this song it should help you with whatever song you happen to have so if you click somewhere and you press space bar, you can advance and go back using the left and right uh, keyboard buttons. And we're going to do that to try to find a good repeating point. So I'm going to hit the space bar. OK, I think it's right about there. OK, so to make it a little more precise, if you hold down the control button, and if you have a wheel on your mouse, you can scroll up to zoom in. So again, holding the control button down, okay, I think it's probably about there. Let's hit the space bar. Okay, that sounds about right. Let's zoom in more. And to reduce clipping, you generally want to find a spot where these dots are as close to these lines as possible. Looks like that's a pretty good spot. So zoom out. And then left, uh, once you hover over this line here, <clears throat> you should have a, a finger that if you left click, you can drag it if you hold it down. And then hit this trim button, or the, the cut button, to get rid of the portion of the song we don't need. OK, again, zoom in. Uh, again, using holding down control and scrolling up. And this next step will help reduce any clipping that might still be remaining. Uh, that you didn't get rid of in the first step. So just highlight that very, very end point and hit Effect and Fade Out. OK, so that should really help uh, avoid any clipping. Now, we're going to want to do that same process for the beginning of the song. <clears throat> so let's find a good starting point that matches up with that end point. I think it's right about there. OK, again, zooming in. Okay, and a good zero point looks to be about there. Let's zoom out. Again, left click. Oh, I think I moved it. Let's try again. Okay. Press spacebar to make sure that's in the right spot. 
Okay, I think it is. So left click, drag, trim. Okay, you can zoom in to the end. Again, repeating that step. Uh, this time, instead of fading out, we're going to fade in. Okay, just get as close as you can. Okay, just highlight that very, very beginning point and say effect. And fade in. Okay, so to check to see if it loops properly, what you can do is go to uh, transport play and loop play. And again, I'm going to uh, advance further and back uh, with the left and right arrows on my keyboard and try to find uh, the end point and uh, see where it moves to the beginning and see how seamless that sounds. So one minute. Okay, that actually sounds pretty good. You notice when the, the cursor goes from here to here, that's when it repeated itself. And it actually sounds pretty good. <clears throat> and uh, I think I'm actually going to reduce the volume just a little bit more. <clears throat> going to Effect, Amplify. Try another decibel. Okay. Okay. So for the next step, uh, we can convert it to an OGG file. So to do that, you go to File, Export, Export as .ogg, <coughs> and instead of calling it Highway, we're going to call it Brinstar because that's what we're replacing. And make sure this quality slider is all the way to the 10 on the bottom here. Okay. Okay, close out here. No. Okay, so this is the file I just created. And to replace it in the game, again, uh, under Documents in Mason, <coughs> go to HD Packs, Metroid HD. Go to Copy and Paste. Okay, again, if you wanted to replace something else, just make sure the, the name of the what you just created matches up. So, for instance, if we scroll to the bottom here, if we wanted to replace the uh, uh, Crade theme, all you have to do is make sure it's called Crade and then uh, overwrite this file here. But we're replacing Brinstar, and we just did that, so we're going to see how it sounds next. Open up Mason. Go to File, Open, Metroid HD. And let's get to Brinstar again to see how it sounds. Okay, it looks to be working. Alright, so that is it. That's the process required for replacing your sound. You can do the same thing for sound effects. The only uh, caveat with sound effects is you don't need to make sure it repeats properly. Uh, you just need to make sure it's, it's the right volume in to a .ogg format. So I hope you found this video useful. For the next one, I'm going to focus in on graphics. But uh, uh, I'll see you in the next video, and I'll say bye for now.